Now see how we have to calculate pressure of an ideal gas. Suppose you take an ideal gas in a container. So, I have taken here this is a cubical vessel whose side is suppose L, the length of the each side is L. Now, this vessel has ideal gas inside it. As we know it, gases molecules are in random motion in all directions. When these gases molecules strikes with the walls of the container or the walls of the vessels, their collision is elastic. It means when these molecules collide with the walls, there is a change in the momentum. And as we know it according to Newton's second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is equal to force exerted. So, when a molecule collide on the wall, its momentum changes. It means some momentum is imparted to the wall and this momentum per unit time is known as force. And then we can calculate the force per unit area that is called pressure. It means the gaseous molecule exert pressure on the walls of the container. So, now we have to calculate actually the pressure exerted by ideal gas. So, just I have taken a molecule of the gas which is having velocity component components v x, v y and v z. And this molecule is colliding with this plane or with this wall which is actually in the y z plane. So, we are taking the component of velocity only that is along x axis that is the v x. So, when this molecules collide with this wall, its moment, its velocity changes, direction changes not magnitude. So, here the velocity will become minus v x, but other two component v y and v z remains unaffected because we are taking the motion of the molecule along x axis only initially and collision of the molecules with the wall which is perpendicular to y z plane. Suppose mass of a gas molecule, if you have taken here mass of a gas molecule is equal to m and velocity I have taken here at any time that is v x, v y and v z. After collision it is minus v x, minus, uh, minus v x, v y and v z. So, when the molecule is colliding with this wall only x component of the velocity is changing. So, we can calculate the change in linear momentum in a one collision. So, we can write here change in linear momentum, change in linear momentum is equal to we can write minus m v x minus m v x that is final momentum minus initial momentum that can be written here minus 2 m v x. So, the magnitude of this change in momentum can be written here. So, in one collision change in momentum can be written here 2 m v x only. So, this is the change in momentum in one collision. So, now see here in small time interval delta t suppose is here I have taken a small time interval. So, a molecule will hit the ball this plane it means this wall which is perpendicular to x that is a y in y z plane. So, a molecule in a small interval of time t will hit this wall if it is a if it is in the distance of v x into delta t. So, all the molecules which are in this distance they will hit the wall in time interval delta t. So, we can say here the molecules will hit the wall if they are in the volume a into v x delta t. So, all the molecules in this wall will in this volume will hit this wall here. Now, if number of molecules per unit volume is suppose n small n I am taking here the number of molecules per unit volume is n. Then the total number of molecules hitting this wall in time interval delta t is equal to we will be getting here a v x delta t into n. So, these molecules will be hitting the wall in time interval delta t here and because we are considering only the x components that is why I am taking only here the velocity v x. So, now see here these are the number of the molecules which are going to hit the wall in time interval delta t here where n is the number of molecules per unit volume. But see here on the average 
half of the molecules are moving towards the wall and half of the molecules are moving away from the wall. This is here we take here assumption here. So, now in this case the number of molecules hitting wall in time interval delta t is equal to half a v x delta t into n. On the average we take here this. So, on an average this much number of molecules are hitting this wall. So, you know the momentum transfer to the wall in this collision in one collision is 2 m v x. So, total momentum transferred total momentum that is linear momentum I am talking about total momentum transferred to the wall in delta t time is equal to here we can write this one half into a v x delta t into n and here we can write that is here 2 m v x this is the momentum transferred in one collision this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So, we will be getting a v x square delta t into here m into n. So, this is the momentum transferred to the wall in one collision. So, sorry the total momentum transferred to the wall in time interval delta t. So, the force exerted we can calculate. So, force exerted is equal to a v x square delta t m into n divided by delta t this will get cancelled. So, we will be getting a v x square m into n. So, this is the force exerted by the molecules on this wall. Now, see here this is the force exerted by the molecules on this wall. So, we can also calculate pressure. So, pressure is equal to here we can write P is equal to m n a v x square upon a this will get cancelled. So, the pressure is equal to we can calculate m n v x square. Since here all molecules are not having the same velocity their speed is different. So, we can get the pressure by the we can write this formula like this is here p is equal to m n v x square here the average here. So, v x square is here the average of v x square this is done here due to the velocity distribution that means all the molecule uh, molecules are not having the same velocity. So, now this we have calculated the pressure exerted on this wall. See as the gas is isotropic there is no particular direction of the motion. So, by the symmetry we can write v x square is equal to here v by square average here v z square is equal to 1 upon 3 v x square plus v by square plus v z square. And now we can write here this is here 1 upon 3 c square where this c square is called mean square speed of gaseous molecules and C we can write here C is called RMS that is called root mean square speed. So, now therefore, we have calculated here P is equal to m n v x square. So, we have calculated it this value here that is just now here is equal to 1 upon 3 C square. So, total pressure P can be written 1 upon 3 m n c square, where m is the mass of a gas molecule, n is the number of molecules per unit volume. So, the same thing can be written here P is equal to 1 upon 3 m upon v c square and here it can be written density. So, the pressure can be written here 1 upon 3 rho c square. So, see here this m is the mass of a gas molecule n is the number of molecules per unit volume by using this I have written this one m, m into n can be written m upon v. So, now the pressure exerted formula comes like this is a p is equal to 1 upon 3 rho c square. 
So, this is the expression for the pressure exerted by ideal gas on the walls of the container in which they are filled. 